喂，點啊？佢哋話佢哋話咩喎？你你估佢哋講咩？佢哋話你翻到屋企嘅時候，佢哋唔加你，你就唔做喎。即係佢唔逼你，你唔做喎。第二樣嘢就係話你誒，佢成日佢哋成日都話你唔做 practice。咁第三樣就話你做唔到就唔做喎，好容易放棄喎。真定假㗎？試咗唔識做就點做啫？試咗唔識做，咪翻去讀咯。書喺你隔離啊嘛。啲英文啲英文係唔明啊。咁我又見唔到你 MSN 度揾我喎。誒，咁啦。咁即係你有幾努力咧？我有揾過啊。嗱，你有揾過咁你 SMS 我啦，我話 MSN 揾我先，你揾唔到你 SMS 我啊嘛，係嘛？嗱，我唔想咁多，我唔想多嘢就係話，我唔想多嘢就係話你讀書係因為你阿爸逼你，誒、欸、呢、這個咁嘅廢話嚟。我讀書咁嘅嘢，我因為我自己讀書啊嘛，咁先咁先夠型仔啊嘛，咁你想你讀書，因為你自己讀書，咁叻啦，都唔好因為我教，我教幫你起步啫。有咩唔妥冇嘥冇冇嘥時間繼續去嘅。我唔相信，我唔相信呢啲嘢，你自己其實讀唔到，因為英文，除非你英文唔唔係好點。OK， 啊第二樣嘢就係、是，好重要一樣嘢就係唔啊，我教你嘅時候咧。你最緊要明我講乜嘢，你唔需要理會 cut 唔 cut 皮啊，啲嘢死曬 textbook 度嘅，你抄完之後抄完之後發覺都係一樣，所以你最好就明我講咩，唔明我講咩你冇你咪要話俾我聽咯。第三樣我教 model 咧唔同你老師教，你老師教就係好慢咁教咩出嚟，你教完就算，誒我咧就係、是、明知啲學生，我就明知嗱我就係咁嘅，我明知啲學生係唔聽嘅，所以我教幾慢咧都係嘥時間嘅。我教得慢，大家嘥三個鐘；我教得快，大家嘥一個鐘。咁我揀嘥一個鐘就算啦。誒、欸，咁但係話唔係唔係教到你 prepare 之後就算，唔係聽完之後你就開始你就開始試啦嘛。你一試嘅時候話一一一條嚟到三支咁樣，咁你三唔知嘅時候唔緊要㗎。最緊要唔好覺得唔知係一件衰嘢，唔知就係一件好嘢，因為你唔知嘅時候你知道你想學乜嘢，跟住你再問嘅時候咧嗱，第二次你問嘅時候就好有效啦。咁我用咗一個鐘頭廢話。Okay? 你用咗三十分鐘去撞板，係嘛？撞完板翻嚟，你問你問我，咁你知道你究竟有啲乜嘢唔知？咁我就直接 tackle 你呢啲乜嘢唔知嘅時候，我可能另外另另另外另外用一個鐘頭啦。咁、okay? 我哋一個鐘頭乒乓鏘咁樣就就就兩個半鐘頭時候，你就學到好多嘢。但係如果我好似你阿 Sir 咁樣咧，一個鐘頭講完義我，你兩個鐘頭講完又義我，哇！三四個鐘頭講完義我，到最後你都可能仲有少少唔識。係嘛？咁嘥六個鐘頭啦。嗱，你而家問題就係你而家 situation 係燒到落眼眉度啊！我我要攞你攞呢個 model， 學 as much as you can， 問 as much as you can， 做 as much as you can。唔清楚話俾我聽，你有乜嘢唔清楚？誒、okay? ，跟住即刻 tackle 你啲問題嘅時候，你即刻唔識佢。快啲嘅，誒、okay? ，雖然係 frustrate 咗少少，因為你唔會覺得你好似超人咁樣，你係條條都識做嘅。條條都識做，咁做嚟做乜就嘥時間啦。咁每個都識做嘅，係咪先？我見你做二百條，你識做嘅一家等於你做做到一百五十條就嚟瞓覺啦，已經。誒、欸，唔緊要，起咗咩名？嚟。是啊。唔係，你你如果係 Alpha Square 加 Beta Square 係咩 ？Alpha Square 加 Beta Square 唔係係冇得變㗎。係咪等於 Alpha Beta 加 Alpha Beta？ Alpha Beta 加 Alpha Beta 真係唔係啦？二 Square 加三 Square。二 square 三 square 等於四加九啊嘛，四加九等於十三啊，咁點會等於二加三 square 啫？唔會㗎，五五個 square 係二十五啊嘛，係嘛 ？C D 三個你知都唔得啦，明白？明白？呢啲 tricks 係係係要學咩啊？記唔記得咩啊？記唔記得嗰三個 identity 啊？呢世都要你記得嘅，好恐怖嘅。跟住你 alpha square 加 beta square 嘅時候咧，係用第一個 identity 調翻轉。誒、欸，其實。之前嘅 example 又同你講過㗎，咧 ，alpha square beta square 佢有變過俾你睇㗎。佢而家直接變到呢度，我點知喎？你未？你唔好直接睇呢度，你睇呢度得唔得啫？咁下邊第二個 step 你明唔明啫？你每一嘢睇下邊，你睇呢度得唔得啫？你睇呢度睇第二個 step 就，哇！呢陣係點嚟啊？誒，我點嚟？我同埋你講過話，從個 alpha plus beta holding square identity 嚟㗎咯。咁啊，從 alpha plus beta square 嘅 identity 嗰度嚟咯。啊，我
有翻 plus beta square 等於有翻 square plus beta square 咩？梗係唔係啦？呢、这個係咁到係 a plus b holding square 啊嘛 ，a square 加 two ab 加 b square， 誒，咁減就係呢度減啊嘛，咁 a square 加 b square 等於 a 加 b 加 b， 得唔得？嗱，呢個唔係呢個 topic 嘅問題，係一個三眼咧，你前面必須要記嘅，你抄抄佢啦，好嘛？你抄抄佢 ，A， 你抄抄啲三眼咧，就你要記。我呢個呢個我要俾。你你記你記咗咩啊？記記記曬啦嘛。第你,你發覺你 alpha A 加 B 兩樣嘢加埋一齊嘅 square 你可以做，減咗之後再 square 都可以做 ，square 減 square 都可以做，但係唯獨 square 加 square 咧就唔可以做，誒？咁你發覺呢個唔可以做嘅時候，你點算？你要你喺呢一個 chapter 裏邊啊？喺第一個揾。係啦。咁而 A B 加 B square 嘅時候咧，呢樣掉過嘅時候，你就 A square 加 B square 等於一扎嘢，咁就可以變。但係點解佢嗰個唔係一個 stand up 公司啊？嗯，梗係唔可以啦。佢佢教咗啲 stand up 嘅嘢，你係你要去變佢噶嘛 ？Max 就係咁樣啊嘛，你學就學嗰一加等於二，咁三十七加等於啦，三十八咯。點解啫？咁你自己變噶嘛嘛？佢教你 concept 係你去變嘅，誒，咁你變得多咪叻仔咯，係變得差咁咪爭啲啦，咪加油啦！點？點解唔記得啊？記得咩題？咩唔明 ？Graph。Graph 唔明，攞幾條出嚟啊？嚇！我冇，我只係睇得出喎。咁你邊？你邊度做唔明啊？你唔係記得咩題唔明嘅咩？係係啦。咁你有咩唔明啊 ？Graph 佢問你。問你咩？問睇下 questions。你 question 有問題，你唔帶 question 嚟。啊哈！我自己嚟玩。唔係你一定係做緊嘢嘅時候，我發覺我唔識做啊嘛。咁嗰條 question 個 graph 點啊？講啊。好似揾誒。啊哈！又揾咩啊？咩 graph 啊？誒，佢係佢係揾 velocity。velocity， velocity， 乜嘢 graph？ 個 graph 本身係咩 graph？ 乜嘢 type graph？ 呢個咩 axis 嚟嘅？呢個係 speed， 呢個係 velocity time graph 定係呢個係 distance time graph 啊？定係 displacement time graph 啊？有幾多個 graph 你要學啊？兩個 graph。兩個咩？三個，誒就係 solution time graph 啊 ，solution time graph 好少好少考嘅。Displacement time graph 啊嘛 ，velocity time graph 啊嘛，係嘛？係啊。咁你學 displacement time graph 時，我哋學啲咩？學一樣嘢啫。OK， 學學兩樣嘢啦，佢一樣白痴嘅嘢。OK， 嗱。唔係啦，佢佢佢。佢話嗰個 bracket， 佢問你揾點揾啫？係邊邊啫？講乜嘢先得㗎？乜嘢 bracket？ 點揾邊度？乜嘢邊條？你都出到俾我聽。嗰個呢個係乜嘢 ？Graph paper 上面唔係有個 bracket 嘅。係啊。喺嗰個 bracket 上面嘛。咩叫做 graph paper 上面有個 bracket 啊？唔<笑>冷靜啲，慢慢講。我 understand 你有問題，你講多啲俾我聽。嗰、那個 bracket 啦。乜嘢叫 ？Graph paper 上面唔係有一格一格一格一格一格。啊哈！咁 bracket 呢啲叫 bracket 喎。一格一格就一格一格啦，咁、啊、你講格定 bracket 啦？哦，係哦。啊，是但唔緊要嘅，咁一格一格係啲乜？佢問你，好似要揾 displacement 幾多，用低用 graph 揾你點？冇冇啲咁嘢㗎，誒、欸、，displacement 幾多？你話用乜 graph 揾啫？用邊一個 graph？ 嗱，你嗱 ，anyway， 講曬俾你聽，喺你 sample 上面有得兩個 graph，displacement time graph 同埋 velocity time graph。啊。OK， 翻翻嚟個 concept。Displacement time graph 你有幾多樣嘢學？ Uh, 有兩樣嘢學。Okay? 第一樣嘢咧就係乜鬼嘢叫 graph？ 如果呢個 displacement 即係 distance 啦，嘅咁呢個就自然會係 meter 啦，呢、这個就係 second 啦，嘅得唔得？咁我要揾我誒 when time 嗰度 four second 嘅時候，咁我個 distance displacement 幾多？咁你點揾啊？我讀呢個 axis 咁樣冇 value。嘅，如果你呢度攞到係七嘅話，咁你你唔使七 meter 咯。係啦，呢個我知啦。呢個你真係知。嗱，呢個就係第一樣嘢你學嘅就係話，我 x 係乜嘢 ，y 係咩，同埋我話我我 distance 係十四嘅時候，我 time 得幾多啊咁樣。咁你從十 distance 係十四嘅時候，咁樣 cut 過嚟呢度，咁樣 cut 埋呢度，知道 time 幾多？係嘛？啊，呢個就係 x y 嗰度你學啦，好難啊，好難啫係嘛？就 velocity time graph 咁點啊？同樣地 velocity time graph 咧，我一樣可以揾到一樣嘢就係話，當我
當我 time 係誒四嘅時候咧，啊我 speed 可能係啊啊十四咁樣，咁我知道我係 travel 咁十四 meter per second 咯。咁我哋話哦 ，what's the what's the time when it when it accelerate until 啊二十咁樣，二十五秒啦，唔識嘅。咁你咪吸翻轉頭，咁我攞翻時間啦，係嘛？得唔得？嗱呢樣第一樣嘢學嘅，誒咁留幾多樣嘢啦？一樣嘢啦。嚇咁就得㗎？喂，梗係唔止啦，有五樣嘢要學㗎嘛。你學咗兩樣啫嘛。我話咩？我話我話二。哦哦。OK， 咁第二樣嘢學咩啊？第二樣嘢學你你學就係個 gradient 或者係個 slope。啊。個 gradient。A gradient of the tangent at at 呢個 point 咧係呢條 gradient， 啊呢條叫 tangent， 呢個 tangent 嘅 gradient 咧，誒個 definition 就係你個 displacement 佢太唔，所以就係 velocity。咁如果喺 s t 喺 displacement time graph 嘅時候咧，我第二樣嘢學嗰只 gradient 係咩啫 ？gradient 就係 velocity。哇點記啊？使記嘅，你攞個 unit 得㗎啦。Great， 你個你個 displacement 係 meter， 你個 time 係 second， 你個 gradient 字字係 meter per second，meter per second 就自然係 speed， 所以你個 gradient 就係 speed。咁喺呢度點啊？咁咁第二樣嘢學咗啦，咁第二樣嘢呢度點啊？一樣係學 gradient。咁呢度 gradient 係咩咧？咁呢度攞 gradient 攞個 tangent 啦，誒，攞 tangent 啦，我 tangent 嘅 gradient 咧就會係 meter per second 掉一百 second， 幾多 meter per second？ 佢佢個 tangent 做個 tangent 都得㗎。唔係 tangent 咯，呢個係個唔得。誒，你話個旁邊嗰邊都得㗎嘛？嗱，第一，佢等陣先啦。Gradient 同 tangent 就係 acceleration， 誒、okay? ，meter per second， 點解 per second？ 所以 meter per second square。所以，誒、okay? ，所以佢嘅 gradient 就係咁啦，誒、okay? ，咁第二樣嘢就先話你乜嘢叫 tangent 先，誒 ，tangent 咧 ，cut to one point， 或者你話 touch the curve at one point 啦。咁呢個就，但係有其他 cut 都得㗎。但係就可以 cut 嘅，誒，但係 anyway， this called tangent at this point。啊。個 tangent 係 respect to 一個 specific point， 唔係 the tangent of the curve， 冇啲咁嘅嘢嘅。tangent 一個睇邊個 instant 啫，喺邊個邊個時候。第二樣嘢你要知咧 ，the the tangent of a straight line， 如果根本唔係一條 curve， 根本係 straight line。the tangent of straight line is the straight line itself。OK， 如果一條直線嘅話咧，呢條線本身就係個 tangent。所以個 tangent 嘅 gradient 咧就其實係本身嘅 gradient， 得唔得 ？OK， 所以如果我有一條咁嘅咁嘅啊啊 displacement time graph 咁鬼咁樣嘅，哇嚇嚇咁樣嘅，咁呢呢一點呢一點呢一點呢一點個 tangent 其實就等於自己條線啫。嚇唔係嗰個剪紙喎？呢個係 straight line 啊嘛，係嘛 ？gradient of the tan gradient of Tangent of the straight line is the straight line to itself. So this line of the straight line is the straight line to itself. So this line of the straight line is the straight line to itself. So this line of the straight line is the straight line to itself. So this line of the straight line is the straight line to itself. So this line of the straight line is the straight line to itself. So this line of the straight line is the straight line to itself. So this line of the straight line is the straight line to itself. So this line of the straight line is the straight line to itself. So this line of the straight line is the straight line to itself. So this line of the straight line is the straight line to itself. So this line of the straight line is the straight line to itself. So this line of the straight line is the straight line to itself. So this line of the straight line is the straight line to itself. So this line of the straight line is the straight line to itself. So this line of the straight line is the straight line to itself. So this line of the straight line is the straight line to itself. So this line of the straight line is the straight line to itself. So this 喺呢裏邊每一點咧都係有另外一個 speed， 得唔得？咁咁呢個就係你要學嘅第二樣嘢 ，gradient。咁 gradient of the curve， 你就話喺嗰個 arc 位嗰時候咧，你攞個哦，而家喺呢個 curve 咧 ，make sure 喺呢度咧，你 take take 個啊，入 take 條直線啦，誒 ，cut at at that region， 我哋 try to cut one point 啦 ，as nice as you can 啦。有陣時同條 curve 差唔多樣嘅啦，誒呢啲地方就。curve 嘅地方就畫條靚嘅 tangent 啦，咁佢攞個 gradient 啦。誒，佢嘅嗰個 gradient 係一定到 graph 嘅最最。唔係唔係，你是但畫條線，你你只要你攞到嗰個 ratio of 呢個 with 呢個 with any size of triangle 會到。OK， 咁如果你有一個 curve， 我攞咁多，咁你就攞呢點攞呢點。一定係 right angle triangle。係，一定係 vertical horizontal 咁樣去 right angle triangle。是但我你攞呢兩點都得。我呢兩點都得，誒、okay? ，你中意攞幾大幾大幾大幾細都得，誒、okay? ，咁有時你會畫到佢攞個 nice number 啦，但係你通常唔會咁深嘅，佢唔會俾你搞到你減完，佢通常會俾你啲好 nice 嘅 straight line 啊嗰啲咁嘢俾佢畫嘅，得唔得？咁你咪 extend 佢咯，誒、okay? ，是但攞兩點你中意咁，咁咪計啦，我呢個咁 ，tangent， 
咁所以記住一樣嘢就係話 tangent the gradient of the tangent of this graph 咧喺任何個 point 啊，就係嗰個 point 嘅 specific instant 嘅 speed。呢個任何一點嗰個 tangent 嗰個 gradient 就係嗰個點即係嗰個 time 嘅 specific 嘅 acceleration。即係話俾你聽，個 acceleration 一一路變緊。呢個即係話俾你聽，個 speed 一路變緊。所以你問我個 speed 係幾多嘅時候咧，我有兩個揾法。第一個揾法就係、是，如果佢俾你 v t graph， 你就直接用個 time 咧，就攞俾個嗰、那個呢個 velocity 咧，就係個個 speed 啦。咁如果佢俾你嘅 s d graph， 咁你就用嗰個 time 咧，走去到時候咧就畫條 gradient 咧，攞個 gradient 咧，咁呢個 gradient 咧就會係 speed。所以睇下佢乜俾你乜 graph 咧，你用咩方法嚟做？嗱咁學咗一二三四咧，你仲有第五樣嘢要學嘅。第五樣嘢咧就係喺呢個 VT graph 裏邊嘅 area under graph。啊？係。啊。呢個 area under graph 係冇意思嘅，但係 VT graph 嘅 area under graph 咧就係 displacement。OK。所以如果呢一點係七啊，喺 time 等於四嘅時候係七嘅話咧，你喺 time 等於四呢個 total area 都會等於七嘅。就係 calculate 之後嘅。係，你計你數 box 嘅時候好，咁人哋梗唔會俾啲咁嘢你啦。嗱，如果人哋俾啲咁嘢你嘅話咧，佢佢係俾一條直線嘅。係，當然俾條直線你 triangle 咯，咁啊計。啊嚇，咁如果唔係直線，咁如果有兩三個啲咁嘅時候，你咪計 trapezium 咯。得唔得？咁你咪切切切佢變 rectangle 加 trapezium 咁咯。得唔得？隨便啫，我哋。如果係啲咁密特嘅，佢會俾你啲格仔，咁你數 boxes 啦。幾多個 boxes 乘翻 what's the mean of one box？ 咁你就計到 area 係 approximately 幾多？咁我要俾個 error range 嚟，你 four inside 個 range correct， 得唔得 ？OK， 邊五樣嘢你學啊？啊，邊個啊？邊個 ？Area。乜嘢 area？ 呢個呢個咩 graph？VT graph 嘅 ，VT graph 嘅 area 係咪啊 ？Displacement。啊 ，displacement， 又 good 嘅 ，or the distance travel 嘅。Tangent。Tan gradient of the tangent。At any point 就會係，錯嚇 ，meter per second，second 喎，做 divide 嘅時候係 meter per second square 喎，乜鬼嚟㗎 ？velocity 咩 ？velocity time graph gradient 又係 velocity， 反而啊，哦哦 ，speed，velocity 即係 speed 咯，反而 acceleration，acceleration， 誒呢個咧學咩啊？呢個係誒。velocity 乜嘢係 velocity 啊 ？velocity 就係 meter per second。誒 ，OK， 乜嘢係乜嘢 of 呢個 graph 係 velocity 啊？誒 ，area 嘅 graph 啊？唔係。咁係咩啊？誒 ，gradient。gradient of the tangent at the point 係 velocity。呢個本身乜 graph 嚟㗎？誒 ，speed， 誒 ，displacement time graph， 嘅 area 有冇意思啊？第三樣最緊要學嘅就係你 time 等於四嘅時候，我點攞點攞七啊？就讀啦。誒，就 cut the curve with the point 啦，係。咁呢個就係 what's the mean of 七啊？七就係。How to explain what's the mean of this four seven 啊？咩意思啊？ The object. Time is four. Yeah, when when the time is four second, this object has travel seven seven meter. Okay, good. What's the meaning of? Hey, my displacement is seven meter, man. Displacement, just distance, oh. Displacement, ah. If you don't turn back, displacement equal to distance, ah. Okay. 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 VT graph 喎，哇，亂嚟啦！我仲要嚟識添。Velocity 即係咩？有另外一個 scalar 嘅 velocity 即係咩啊 ？Scalar。係。啊 ，displacement 即係 distance 啊，係。Velocity 即係咩 ？Speed。Okay, good. When the time is four, the object. The time is four. 乜嘢 fourteen 啊 ？Speed。The speed is fourteen 啊嘛。Okay. Fourteen meters. Eh? Fourteen meters per second. Yes. Okay. We get meters per second. Okay. What? Say that again. You you you. I teach you. I teach you. Come basic. 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 Come basic.
。咁又點解釋啊？咩叫 seven minus four 啊 ？seven minus four 啊嚇。等 seven minute 啦。second second， 誒、okay. 啊、time 其實通常都係 second。等等等等等等等等等等等等等等等等等等等等等等等等等等等等等等等等等等等等等等個啦 ，this minus four。啊，死啦！你教你乜嘢都未聽到，係啊。你我都話是，你話你話話個老師啲可以。個老師啲可以咩？可以嘅可以啦。我我話俾你聽可以噶嘛，你唔記得咗嘛？佢 lost the time graph 嘅，我都到下面就 lost time graph 冇乜嘢。OK， 佢 lost the time graph 嘅，所以呢個點解先啊？啊啊！你話俾阿嬸聽佢。呢、这個呢、这個呢架車阿我嘅阿嬸嘅，你 uncle 聽啦 ，uncle 起碼起起碼識揸車嘅，揸車咁我知咩叫 speed 啦，係，咁你話俾 uncle 聽呢、这個呢、这個呢、这個呢、这個呢呢架車啊 ，when time 呢個 seven second 嘅時候啊，佢 travel 係 minus four meter per second 啊，佢嘔血啦，唔知啦乜啦咩叫 minus four meter per second 嘅，我架車叫 travel 係 minus four meter， 啊 displacement， 你仲講 displacement 呢個 speed 嚟嘅喎，哦、oh. ，velocity 即係 speed 啊嘛。我 velocity speed 同你咩唔同啊 ？velocity 可以 minus。嚇嚇，可以 minus， 點解可以 minus 啊？唔知。嗱 ，plus minus indicate 嘅。我而家都唔清楚 velocity 係咩。Good， this is why。OK， 我講完咗係冇用嘅，所以所以都係要等你撞翻板出嚟食翻翻嚟先，所以先再解釋俾你聽，咁你咪明咯。OK， velocity 同 speed 有咩唔同 ？Definition。我知道 speed 係 speed 啊。咁 velocity 係咩 ？velocity 啊，我唔知喎。Is speed with something? Is the same as speed? No, speed in a specific. Speed with a d star of d. Displacement. No. Speed with a direction. Uh huh. A speed with direction. Uh huh. Speed 本身冇 direction. Velocity 就係 speed 加埋 direction 啫。Velocity 就係。一一個行嗰邊。啊 ，OK， 全部都一樣嘅。一個用咩 speed 行嗰邊 ？Velocity 就話俾你 speed 係幾多 ，in which direction？ 嗯。OK，speed、okay? 嗯、就係 speed 有幾快有幾慢，就唔理你乜 direction。嗯。咁 dis distance 同 displacement 一樣啫嘛。Distance 就係我行咗幾多路，我唔理乜鬼 direction。Displacement 我知道。Displacement 就係 the distance in one specific direction， 呢個 distance 有幾多咧？就唔理你行咗幾多嘅。OK， 咁 distance 同 displacement 又唔同，同 speed 同 velocity 又唔同一樣。即係所以 velocity 係咩 ？Speed in a specific direction 啊嘛，係嘛？咁 displacement 嘅 direction 你點攞啊 ？First point, last point, draw back 嗰條 arrow 咪就係你個 direction 咯，得唔得？咁 velocity 嘅 direction 係咩 direction 啊？ Uh, <笑> velocity 嘅 direction 就係 direction of motion， 記住。Uh, OK， 如果你 object 係咁樣飛緊去呢度嘅時候咧，你個 displacement 就係呢一個 length with 呢一個 direction。嗯。你個 velocity 咧就係呢一刻嘅 speed in this direction。嗯。OK， so direction of speed is direction where you head in the instance。得唔得？嗯。OK， 所以你明咗呢樣嘢之後咧。第一場，第一場 velocity， 唔緊要。第一場 velocity 係咩？第一場係咩啊？第一場 motion。第一場 motion， 幾？咁你我向前跑，第一場 motion 喺邊度？嗰邊咯。向前咯，係。咁我我我我我向前準備轉右啦，但係一半嘅時候，咁我第一場喺邊啊？咁啊咩？哦。我向前準備轉右，但係我轉緊半嘅時候，嗰嗰喺嗰一刻嗰個第一場我我 motion 喺邊啊？你轉一半轉到邊度啦？我就轉一半轉到邊度？啱四廿四廿五度啦，快啲變係嘛？轉曬就九十度啦嘛。係啊，可以四廿四點二噶。啊 ，OK 啦，其實轉一半啊嘛，咁樣四廿四我就未夠一半啦，係嘛？咁我 exactly 一半唔四廿五咯。OK， 咁 direction， so what's the middle minus four？ What's the middle minus？ Minus indicate 啊 ，direction。嗯哼。Velocity 就得 ，velocity 就係 four， 唔係個 speed 就係 four， 誒，我有幾快 ？four。Minus 或者咩叫 minus？ Minus means my direction is minus。啊哈。或者咩叫 direction minus？ Opposite direction。係啊。得唔得？係啊，但係你你你你。你解釋嘅時候點解 ？At seven second， the speed of the car is four
but it's traveling backward. Oh, okay. So it's all like a positive and negative. Well, why you call um, a positive is right and negative is left? Yeah, if it is left, right issue. Okay. 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 Um, they see the minus case. You see how much? Yeah. My God, speed go minus. We get speed. Then you have to say that. Yeah. The direction of motion is in a negative direction. So it got to say that. Uh, we lost the minus value. Good. Which one is lowest and which one is fastest? Oh, the OB tip one. A B C D ping upon two five. We are trying upon two five. Ping upon two five. Hey, ping upon two five. Do upon two five. B two five. C two five. Oh, B two five. Huh? C two five. C two five. Do. Why do I have to say that? Why? Because I think B is the fastest. Wait, what do you mean? Five five. Ah, five five. What? Five hundred speed, ma. Ah, ma. This one is in a high negative, ma. This one is a low positive, ma. Positive negative is due to what? Direction or speed? Direction, right? So, positive negative is because it's direction. But if you ask speed, it is how fast, how slow. You don't care about direction. The question don't care for directions, the time. This is fast, this is slow. Because this one closer to zero. This one is very far away from zero. Oh. So it's high speed. Oh. But on another direction only. Okay. So slow speed in this. Okay? okay? Mm. Good. Oh no, this is a distant time graph. Slow. Which one is the fastest? Which one is the slowest? Fastest is D. Slowest, huh? A. Slowest, huh? Fastest, chop. Okay, concept. This is the displacement time graph, how you get the velocity. The what of this graph is velocity. Tension. The gradient of gradient. the tangent, right? Uh. So at this point, the tangent is this way. At this point, the tangent is this way. Mm. Then this one, the tangent is this, this way. At this one, the tangent is this way. So the gradient, 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 gradient. B is the fastest. Yes. B is the fastest. See the gradient. Look at the right thing, okay? So this is the fastest, this is the slowest. Good? Good. Good. Okay. So you see, you just think you know many advanced things, but you know many fundamental things. Good. Okay.
呢個好難好難，我話幾唔夠靚，再睇啲咩？誒 ，let this be a perfect sinusoidal. Okay, that means the area on the graph is perfectly equal, symmetric. One, two, three, four, the kind of things. Okay. E 同 A 是哪一个？呢條先當先搞呢個係啊 V D graph 啦，誒、欸，嗯 ，so which one？ 畫啲畫啲畫都靚啲，畫得好。Okay, e 同 A 一樣。O K， 依高少少啊，依高少少。E 同 A 一，哦，依高少少。依高少少 ，O K，so。Who is fastest? C. Good. So who? Eh? Who is fastest? C. Good. So who has? So slowest, lah. Slowest has B or D. Lowest a bit of D. Good. Maximum accelerations. Maximum acceleration. Yeah. Now, 小心啊 ！Acceleration, deceleration. 我啲冇冇講啊 speed 嘅，誒，我真係講 value. Maximum acceleration. Yeah, maximum acceleration. 啊，唔緊要嘅，啊，估下。A. Good. My E is A. E is maximum deceleration. E is maximum deceleration. Wrong. Maximum deceleration is B. Huh? B is already reached the deceleration point. Wait a minute. Decelerations. The definition is what? Is it right? No. Deceleration is the definition. Oh, it's okay. What's the definition? No. On the graph. On the graph, what do you learn? You learn just now. I told you the five things. And you only have the five things. So what's the maximum deceleration? In in the graph of V D graph, what is acceleration? Acceleration is increase of speed. Uh. Yeah, okay, but let's see what you hello, you know, what I'm doing here, right? I'm keep asking you about the five things I teach you. Mm. Okay. So a VT graph, what of a VT graph is uh, acceleration? Part of a VT graph is acceleration. Yes. Going up, lah. No. Something like that, but what is what's 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 the word? The y value, the area in the graph, or it is the time. No, the gradient. In a VT graph, the gradient is what? The gradient. Uh. The gradient of V D graph is what? Acceleration. Yeah, that's all I need, and that's all you need to learn. The five things. Keep thinking about the five definition in part. Mm. So if you want to see who is the having a greatest acceleration, you talk about the gradient. Who has the highest gradient? Right. Mm. Okay. Highest gradient is here. Mm. So who has the greatest deceleration? You look for a negative gradient. So it is this one versus this one. If the peak, listen to me here. If the peak is the same, right? If we superimpose them, the B is here, and the E is here, right? If you put this two loop together, you can see that the B gradient is in this way, and the E gradient is in this way. Okay, but this is why, right? It seems like ah, zero means zero means nothing. Zero means actually the maximum deceleration. Okay, gradient is nothing to do the y value. So anytime you have problem.
go back to the definition. What do I learn from there? Simple things. D okay. is what? D is what? D is a oh sorry. D is a maximum acceleration. Ah, not A. Uh. Not A. A. Because right, if you superimpose this one, right, D is here. A is here. The A right is always more gentle than the D. In the sine graph. Oh. Uh, Lambda is zero. Try. Okay. So this got D. This got high. B. B. Meh meh. Meh. Okay. So, wah. Okay. Wah. High. Okay. Wah. We go back to definition. Uh. Definition, what definition? What very much yes, yes, yes. Understand what is the simple English? We will do it. No problem. Okay. Who has the maximum displacement? Hi, Chao Chao. Uh huh. Who has the maximum displacement? Wait, wait, wait. What of this graph is <laughs> displacement? Remember five things? I'm keep asking you five things, okay? So the what of this graph is displacement? No idea. Remember, okay? VT graph, the area in the graph is the displacement. Okay? The gradient is what? The gradient is uh, acceleration. Good. So the area under graph is what? Displacement. <laughs> yeah. So now you know a simple thing actually is very tough. Because it's too simple, you just say, hey, I'm mad again. You, when you need it, everything comes back. Uh, now, so area in the graph of AA right, is this area. So you have traveled so much, the area. But on the graph of B, right, is this area. Mm -hmm. That's a displacement amount. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, on the graph of C, right? This triangle. Okay, uh, I try this. Is this area. Until here. Can you see it? Now the worst thing is is that okay. Now if I have an area underground at C right, how to get the how to get the displacement? You need to know displacement is like velocity that have positive and negative. Okay, so this one this area is a positive area. This area is a negative area. So when you want to find displacement at C, you need to use a positive subtract with a negative. So you have one and half. You only left one from here. Okay, so tell me uh, yeah. Yeah, this is interesting. Okay? So if I start, at, the object start at uh, uh, some point here, and okay, let's just start here. And when in A, right, you have moved something, so this A. Okay. And then at B, right, keep moving to the point B. Okay. So this is this uh, black color shader area. This is in black. This is in red. Can you see it? Okay. Now what happens is when we go to B to C, right? This is a negative displacement you have travel. Mm. So what happens C is actually at the center here, right? This object is coming back here. What do you see? Mm. I walk positively mm. and I walk negatively. Mm. Here. Mm. So what's the displacement at C? Displacement at C is from starting point to the point C. So it's only this amount. Mm, okay. Yep. Yeah. So this is why I say right. The displacement at any point, right, is the positive area subtract with the negative area, which is half. Which is only half. Okay. So B closer to this or C closer to no, B closer to the origin or C closer to the origin. B. No C. 
B. Oh, to the original Sly Sly Yeah, to the starting point. C actually is closer because it's coming back. So the displacement of OC is lesser than the displacement of OB. Okay. Now, but if you want area, so if you want this distance, if you want distance, you won't care about positive and negative displacement. You just say how much I have walked. So this is this area plus this area plus this area. Add, just add them up. If distance then E is the furthest one. Uh, it's distance C is yeah, E is the furthest. Okay, have walked the most. Okay? Okay. Good. Okay. So who has maximum displacement? You want to answer again? That means who has is too far the, the furthest away from O. We'll try again. B uh, B B is right? B. Good. Good, very good. This is furthest. Yeah? Mm. Good. So, at which point, right, you go back to the origins? Uh, D. Good. Okay? Mm. So, understand how to do displacement. Mm. So, uh, E is the furthest distance they travel. Mm. Who, who, which is the greatest uh, negative directions that you have traveled? Oh no, there's no negative direction, sorry. Yep. Yep, okay, so that's all. Okay. Did you Did you hey? I'm gonna understand what's the mean area in the graph. Now for area in the graph is only for VT, and the area in the graph is equal to displacement. This is the way to interpret. The gradient is zero what? The gradient, the gradient is assigned to Displacement time graph. Okay. Yeah. Wait a minute, man. Is it the same? Displacement time graph greater than velocity. Good. 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 Yeah. Optional. Okay. You can remember it the best. Otherwise, you can solve all questions by VT graph. Okay. Thank you. Uh, if I say this object uh, is falling, falling from rest. Okay. And so find a find the speed at the end. If the height is let's say uh, twenty meter, okay, is experiencing accelerations of. Uh, 10 meter per second. Okay. So find V and find the time descent. How do you do it? You use the use the formula without without velocity and time. Okay, first one, you want to find this use, use without the, what? Use the one without velocity. No V. If you know V, that means your V is not in your equation. Yeah. V is not in your equation, how you find V? Uh, v is not in your equation you find T. Yes, okay, so this one you gotta use no? No T. No T, you're right. So this one use no V. Okay, so just don't play yourself, okay? Whatever you want to find, you make sure this unknown is inside. So if there's no uh, T, okay, the formula is uh, V square equal to U square plus 2AS. Okay, so how to do it? Uh, v square equals to U square. U is equal, uh, 0 square. V square equal to zero square. V square equal to zero square. Okay. Plus two ten uh two uh, bracket ten bracket twenty. Good. And V square equal to two hundred. Okay, four hundred. V equal to plus minus twenty. So just take twenty. Why for plus minus? Plus minus is like if you have a uh, now. So at this instance, when you drop down, this this is uh twenty. Mm. Okay. But the minus is because because this equation have no time, right? Mm. Okay, so when they have no time, right, in max, right, what will happen is that it will it will help you to interpolate the whole issue. So if you have plus twenty here, mm. so minus twenty means means it's you upper twenty. Yeah, but this this makes you if you substitute this inside, right, you find time is negative, uh, which is not not possible. Okay, that means that if your time can go backwards, yeah. okay, this would have been like that. 
you would have been find a something called minus twenty. Okay? Because this is timeless. Okay? If you travel the sphere of light. Uh yeah, okay. with the Einstein's mirror, the good goal. Quite true, actually. You look at me. Because you can you can see because the light should to be. Yeah. You open the light should to be and it goes to the eyes, right? Yeah. And light takes time to travel into your eyes, right? Yeah. So whatever you see mm. takes some time to travel into your eyes. Yeah. So whatever you see is not the exact instant of yeah. what I'm doing. So so what the what do you mean? I'm living in your you are living in my past. Because you're seeing seeing my historical You are also living view, in my past. Right? Yeah. yeah. I'm also living in your past, okay? So I'm not in the future when you're in my past. Okay. Read the Einstein view. Okay. But that's that's the reality of the world. Okay? Like really try to take time to put your eye, you're really living in people's past and this and that. Okay, whatever it is, okay. So uh now you're very uh, sure about the graph and the calculations, just check you one more. If I throw up the stone initially with uh, with twenty meter per second, mm. okay, then the stone will draw on the floor. Mm. And let's say when the time is dropped on the floor, right? It is um, it is um, uh, eighty meter per second, and under the influence of a ten meter per second square, okay. Find the height of this building. Huh? And find the height and find the time. Taken for this. You understand what it means? Yes. Okay, good. So, what's this? 20 meter per second. How do you write it? Symbol. Symbol? What equal to 20? V, A, T, S. 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 A S. or not S? Mm -hmm. V equals to 20. What, what symbol do we have? V. Final. V is final speed. Uh -huh. U is initial velocity. Sorry, V is final velocity. Uh, U, is U is initial, initial velocity. Speed. S is displacement. Oh, that means A initial velocity. Oh, yeah. What is so, initial velocity. Means what? Initial speed in which direction? V. Means twenty is what? U. Okay. Are you gonna write U to twenty? Um. Not really. So what do you wanna write? 30, 40, 50. But later come down different ways. Right? You're right. So what do you want to put? U equals to R. What R are you? Up to you to put one. Doesn't matter. What do you want to put? Put the 20 first, can? Yeah. And let's put positive 20, okay? Yeah. So if this is positive 20, mm. come mean? back is negative. Yeah, okay. So how do you write this? Uh, 10 meter per second square. So, what equal to what? Uh, equals to acceleration. What equal to what? Simple. Equal. Number. 20 equal to 10. Eh? What, 20 equal oh, to sorry, sorry. Chicken equal to egg? Ah? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Mm. Chicken equal mm. Quick, quick, quick. I don't want to What's this? Acceleration, right? I say. Yeah. Acceleration will use what symbol? A, what do you need to know? So A equal to what? A equal to U. What? This is 10, you know, I'll give you the number oh, 10. A equal to 10. A equal to 10, is it? You okay or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Correct or not? Yeah. Wrong. Right. Wait, right. wrong. Wrong. Wait, Wrong. Wrong, man. Yeah, it is wrong. A equal to 10 meter per second. It's close, but. No, A equal to 10 is close but wrong. Minus 10. Why? Because it's coming down. Going up is positive. Yeah, because you put positive 20. So you say up is positive. 
Dark is negative. Dark is negative. Then you put minus 10. If you put a positive 10, then go on case. Go up. Yep, the solution will help your thing to keep flying out. And then whatever you calculate will be. Yeah, yeah. If you're all wrong, okay, you get all wrong. So what's this? Simple, equal to what? V equals to 80, A dot minus 80. Good. Okay, so you want to find H, what formula you want to use? Oh, but this H actually should use what symbol? What, what symbol you should use? What symbol should you use? Displacement? Yes, okay, actually you should use Why S, yeah? right? Because displacement is the distance from the initial point to the point concept. But the initial point to the point concept. There's a displacement, <laughs> right? Okay. So this is supposed to be S. Yes. Okay. So, so you so you use uh, if I type, you find one without T. Without T, okay. No T, good. Uh, T, you find one without S. Okay, no S, okay. So, no T formula V square equal to U square plus two A S. Again. So how do you put it? Uh, minus eighty. Eh, v square equals minus eight. Oh, sorry, sorry. Minus eighty. Minus. Uh, I can shift or not? Then you can't do anything, okay? Wait, wait. Minus 80 square. Good. Equals to u square. So, how much? Uh, 20 square plus 2. Behind is s. Acceleration is minus 10. Good, okay. I'll find say, look, say. Lengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlengthlength
Is he top of the building? Yeah. Where's the last one? The drop down. So if you need to draw the space, how do you draw? Huh? Yeah. There, man. Not there, man. Where, where? Okay, lah. Okay, three is vertical. Okay. Ah. Oh. Three is roughly vertical. Yeah. So. Why not there? Because I don't want to draw slanted. Oh. You don't do anything slanted. So how? Hey, it's also correct, lah. Yeah, we haven't drawn displacement. Come on. From from this one, draw there, lah. You don't care about you don't care about correct or not. Okay, I tell you, this is the first one. This is the last one. How we get get displacement? Draw the 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 length between, lah. Between where? The first point and the last point, lah. So where's the first point? Up there. Where's the last point? Down there. Okay, I draw it like that. This called displacement, is it? Yeah. Is it? Wrong. Never listen to me. Tiny things like this, right? Is the thing that is most important in displacement. Oh, the arrow. Yes. Okay. Okay. This is very serious because if you write this arrow, the arrow is the displacement. Then of course the whole thing with arrow. Okay. So can you interpret that this is what what's the meaning of this? This is the distance. So is this length three hundred? No. Why? Because the formula. Because it went up and come down. Wait. Listen to this. Is this displacement minus three hundred? Mathematically. Yeah. Did this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In this, this English means displacement. You got a minus three hundred, right? So this is the formula given, right? Mhm. So this our variable is coming in, okay? Mhm. So either the variable coming in is wrong, or this is wrong, or this definition is wrong. Which one is wrong? Can this not to be displacement? The thing that you sub in is wrong. Okay, which one is wrong then? Uh, go. I don't know. I say it. I say it here. Go, go up, go up. Change to positive. Ah, change to change to negative. Go up, change to negative. Then all this time got to change to positive. Good. So you got to change everything there. Okay, let's try. Sure. Confirm. Yeah. Good. Okay. So. This eighty will become eighty square. Eighty square. This is minus twenty. This is plus two positive ten and s. Then you have six four zero zero. You still have four hundred. You have twenty s. Therefore, twenty s equal to six thousand. Your s equal to three hundred. Is it okay? Same value then. But positive and negative one. Yeah. So how to interpret positive and negative? That's what I want you to know. How to interpret it? What? Why is it negative? Why is it positive? What do you do as a different? Change up. Change what? The sign. The positive and negative sign. How do you change it? In this case, you swap. Take this as positive. Why this two got to be negative? Because it is against the direction, right? So what do you say? In this case, actually take upward positive. No negative. Yeah. In this case, you treat upward negative. Upward negative. So you treat downward as positive. So what's the meaning of minus three hundred in here? Minus three hundred means the arrow is going up. No, upward positive, right? Yeah. Your displacement is minus three hundred, right? Mhm. So that means your first point to last point is the arrow. Okay. So if it is minus three hundred, upward is positive. This vector is this or this. Down. This one, right? Mhm. This one. The length is. The length is how much? How long is it? How how long is this be? Three hundred. Yep. This is the max. So this is three hundred. So look at here. You say downward is positive, and you have positive three hundred. What does that mean? It means this or this? Upwards. Upward. If this positive, if this downward is positive, your your upward got to be negative, right? Yeah. So it's downward. So it's downward. Does it mean the same thing? Yeah. It means the same thing. It's up to you to take positive and negative upward, but you need to interpret this. And secondly, what's the length of this? 
the length is how much? According to max. I say 300, this is displayed one, this is so vector, the length need to be? 300. 300. So, this need to be 300, makes sense. In both case, it shows that yeah. it's 300. Yeah. But anything to do with that, how, how much you have walked or not? No. No, you can't. In displacement, we will not care about how you have walked. Okay. It will only be first point and last point, that's the vector, and that is the value that you will calculate in all these variables. Mm. Okay? So remember, how to, then how to find a distance? Distance? Total distance that this object has traveled. Uh. Ah, this is team here. But this is extra. I mean, test your IQ. Let's see how much you have. <laughs> Do not think about physics. Think about common sense. If Go I have. Now, now I have this. Yeah. Now I have this, right? 300 I calculated. Mm -hmm. Okay, so part two, find the total distance that this object travel. From what do you need to find? Yeah, good. The distance. The same thing, huh? From the, the, the top of the U shape. Here? Yeah. You don't find this point? Until down there. Here, until here, there? Ah. Okay. Now, do you have any... Okay, good. Okay. okay, you can. You can do that one. Okay. I shouldn't go against with it. Uh, down 10. So, okay. So, let's fix your direction. So, where you want to be positive. I think I written 20 here, so make upward positive. Okay. okay. Minus 10. Okay. This is minus 80. Okay. At top, what's so special about at top? Maximum. Yep. How do you define a, a part which is maximum? Now, if you're highest, yeah, highest. Okay. If you're outsider, you see it's highest, right? Now imagine you're the insider. Imagine that you are, you are, you are inside. Uh, you are sitting inside a capsule. Some people, yeah, the the capsule. Okay, some magical capsule, capsule. Whatsoever. Okay, you're inside. A, you know hamster? You know hamster? Yeah. Ham you can put the hamster in the ball, right? Yeah. And the ball then can keep running, right? Oh. Okay. The thing you can call it capsule, okay? What about this? Okay? Capsule where? Okay, ball, okay? So ima imagine you're in a ball like that. Uh-huh. Then you're gonna throw up like that. Mm -hmm. How do you know that you reach a maximum? When I start to drop down. How do when you I, know? When I stop, stop. Ah when you are momentary at zero. At rest, what equal to zero? Speed. Speed equal to zero. So at this instant, what's the what the speed is zero, right? Mm. Okay. So what's the meaning of the top of a path? The speed is equal to zero. Mm. That's the idea. Okay. Mm. So if that's the case, so you say from here to here, is that? Yeah. Okay. You want to find from here to here, fine. So this is your initial or final. You say from. So this is initial, right? Mm. Okay, so the S is this, right? Mm. So A is the same, V is the same. Mm. Okay, so you you don't find you want to find S or find T. Find S. Find S, right? You want to find S. So which formula you want to use? The, the one, one without, without T. T. Okay, with no T. Okay, V square equal to U square plus two A S. So how to put? When you put with the whole thing here. Okay? 80 square, minus 80 square equals to 20 square. No. Oh, minus 20 square. Wrong. Why? Wake up. Why? Why? Just now what you say what? Keep thinking why, okay? What's, what is the def definition of you? Initial. initial, right? Yeah. So in this case, what is your initial? Zero. Good. Uh, you have to start from here right now. Uh, okay. okay, that's what you say, okay? It's up to you. You can start from here, end up there, find it, also can. You start from here, end up here, 
play yourself also can. Okay, then if you start from here and at here, therefore your S is defined this way. But if you start from here and at here, your S is defined this way. It's different. Okay. So what do you have? Two A S minus ten. So. No, 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 not speed. Am I correct? Okay. Because the minus three. Ah, oh, it's not. Twenty three, three, two, three, two zero. Minus three, two zero. That's equal to minus three, two zero. So, minus because it is downward because I take positive as upward. Upward. Yeah. Okay. So therefore, there's a downward arrow. The starting point is the end point. Okay. Listen here. Okay. I need your eyes. How long is it? The vector length is how long? This arrow. Three hundred twenty. Good. The total distance is equal to what? The total distance is equal to. Three. Total distance that this guy has traveled is. Three hundred twenty. Long. For the whole wait, come back to the questions and what do the question ask? The question asks the total travel <laughs> from here to here, right? Yeah. So how much? Okay, if you're in the capsule, where 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 you starting your your thing? You start here, right? Yeah. And then where where how do you walk? Go up. Yeah. yeah. How much you have traveled? How much? A lot. From here to here. How long have you traveled? Twenty. I don't know. Just how is it? How? What's the distance you have traveled? How many meter? Twenty meter. Twenty meter. How Correct. Right? No. Why? How I know it's twenty meter? Okay, so from here to here, how much? Three hundred twenty. From here to here, how much? Three hundred. So how much? Oh, twenty. Da. So what's the total distance? Three hundred forty. Yeah. What What happened to you? Eh? No it's common sense in this one. Simple, okay? Eh? Eh, no. After you find all these things, is it simple? You find three to zero and three hundred, right? Why? Why what? But to me, I I would find oh. this, okay? It's dangerous to find a midway as a starting point. Now listen to me. Listen to me. There's nothing wrong with it. In you will you you just no, you sometimes you can't just calculate that. Okay, because the unknown will be here. And then you have from here to here, unknown and here here the unknown with unknown also. Oh this unknown, this unknown, then you got two unknown. Dangerous. Always try to start with the starting point as the given starting point. The ending point you can choose at here. To find this. Oh, then you three hundred percent. Okay. So it's from here to here, or from here to here. It's always from here. Oh, it will always be easy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because sometimes this is unknown. The time is not so easy. Okay. So don't start at the midway. Okay. So always start with some starting point. Okay. Good. So calculation wise, no. Calculation wise, right? You need to learn about using the formula. Will the formula be given in your exam? I don't know. Will not. Okay. It will not. Okay. So you gotta be remember the four formulas. Okay. And what are all these means? So um <coughs> Okay, uh um, so that's the case. Got the yeah, you got the formula. Okay. I wanna say is that so what if you don't have the formula or they give you ask you to do it in graphical method? Okay, then you now, remember, when they ask you to do a graphical method of all this, use what graph? Use VT graph. Mm. Don't use ST graph. When do you use ST graph? When the question tells you things on ST graph or the question asks you to plot ST graph. But ST graph cannot help you to solve much problem. Okay? Always plot VT graph. If you want to solve uh, issues like this, use VT graph. Okay? You don't have a gradient? Huh? Max? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. So uh, now uh, positive twenty, positive twenty. Whether the maximum this is zero. Okay? The gradient here is equal to minus ten. Okay? So an area of the graph is the distance. Okay? So um well for this to this is just like that. So how to find a 
how to find the distance. First, you use this gradient. Let this be t, so you know 20 over t, right, equal to, equal to 10. Okay, so therefore t is equal to 0 0.5. So this is 0 0.5. Okay, so when you have 0 0.5, right, what's the area? The area is half time base time height. So you go 10, okay, 20 with this, 0 0.5, you go 5 meter. Okay? How do we find? <laughs> I thought it's 20 meter. 20 up. Minus 10 times t, v go 0. Gradient, 20. No, my gradient is wrong. This is wrong, this is nonsense. T equal to T equal to is equal to okay, half two cancel equal to twenty, yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. So sorry, this is this two. Okay? So this is twenty. Mm -hmm. Sometimes this is easier. Okay. Okay? So when you go all the way here until minus eighty, right? Wow. How the blocks are so big? No, no, you're not plotting. I'm sketching only. Oh. Because all the number and feature you know, mm -hmm. just have to do your own calculations. Oh, okay. Okay, so the idea is that when the kids go to minus 80 and the acceleration is keep minus 10, mm. okay, with the time here, okay, okay, 20 minus 80, this is 100. Right? Okay, and then uh, gradient is minus 10. Mm. So 100 over t, okay, equal to 10. Okay, I dropped the minus sign because I'm supposed to be minus 100, okay, mm. whatsoever. Then t, right, is equal to 100 dy by 10 equal to 10 second. So actually here is 10 second. <coughs> okay, so well, here is 10 second. Every other graph for this, this VT graph is this with this. Okay? Mm. So from here, you know this is 2, you know this is 10. Mm. So this is 8. Okay? And this is 100. So this is 80. So the area is half time 8 times 80. So it's 4 times 80, so it is 3 to 0. So this is why this area is 3 to 0. So from here to here is 3 to 0. And the first portion from here from here to here is 20. Okay? Total distance travel, you add them together, 20 plus 3 to 0, so it's 3 to 0. Displacement, use the positive area minus the negative area. So you got minus 300. Minus means downward, no issue. Get all picture? Yeah. Uh, that's all you need to learn here in math, okay? Yeah. Cool. Uh, now you try, okay? I think it should be different. Do you bring any? Oh, no, no, right? You didn't bring any. Okay. You got any problem on, on the math anymore? Want to ask? Uh, no, still don't have. Don't have, okay? No, you didn't bring questions. I cannot test it for you. So, hey, okay, go home. Try yourself. You have 10 series, right? Yeah. Okay, see whether you can solve it, can you map it? Okay, mm. I hope next week you'll come back to me. Okay. Mm. You still can come back to me, we've got a few questions you cannot do, okay? Mm. But you need to be, you need to help yourself in doing, 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 doing questions. Mm. Okay? Anything? What was it? Oh, something you okay? It's dented. I think it's one spot dented that you want to see through the light that comes in. Yeah, I did that also. Okay. Okay. Chemistry. Now today I'm not gonna teach you anything uh, very solid in the chemistry chapter. Okay. So today chemistry got no homework for you, but let's do some more things on physics and Emacs. Okay. But I'm gonna teach you something which is very fundamental. Now, this is what called a periodic table. I know. Yeah. You know what's a pure table? Yes. Tell, tell me what's a pure table. Uh, full of chemicals. Wrong. Or full of elements. Elements. Sorry. Full of elements. So, pure table, so I have one bunch of elements, one bunch of this letter, 
I throw on a table that is very table, is it? Huh? Ah, never listen to me. Okay. It means you have a lot of elements, you just anyhow throw on the table and become pure table, is it? No. So how? Group in order. How do they order? Mm, uh, by uh, atomic mass. What is the meaning of atomic mass? The total number of Total number of atoms. What? Total number of atoms? An atom have how many atoms? One atom not? Each one of them have one atom. Huh. Good, good try, okay, keep coming. Tell me. Uh, total number. Oh, good, okay. So that's the first chapter. Good. That's what I want to ask also. Atom consists of what? Electron. Neutron. Wait, wait, wait. One by one. Proton, electron, neutron. Okay. Proton, where? Proton, huh? Proton, inside. Proton, inside where? The, the circle. This circle? Yes. What is this circle? Nucleus. Nucleus, okay. Proton inside, nucleus. Then? Neutron also inside. Okay, good. Electron outside. Electron outside where? On the line. Okay. Yeah. No? Uh -huh. On the line. Or on the line? Yeah. Can it be in here? No. Can it be here? No. No. It can be anywhere outside the nucleus, inside the boundary. It can be on the boundary, but it can be inside the boundary. I have many rings, right? Uh -huh. Can? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> How do you know this? No what? How do you know an atom have this? Teacher, teacher. How, do they, how does he teach? <laughs> what? How I know? Teacher. So he never tell you how come he knows? He just say atom have proton, neutron, electron like that. Yeah, of course. You know the discovery of this, right? Is a hypothesis. Teacher. That means it's not true. Is <laughs> sure atom have proton, neutron, electrons? Oh, they guess one now. Yeah, they, but how they guess? They use experiment and guess. Yes, yeah, good. Which experiment is that? That's what I want to ask. <laughs> the, 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 the what? Some, one, one guy, I forget already. Uh, yeah, what did he do? Then he, he put, uh, he should go method. Good, that's the one. <laughs> that's the one, okay? So this is actually the first thing I want to teach you. Okay? He put C here, okay? This is what? The, the piece of gold, right? Yeah. Go for it, right? Yeah. Then after that, he one he put one container there. There. Container there, yeah, container. Yeah, no, 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 no. Eh? This container should No. Be. Got three one, what? Got three? Yeah. Got three? Yeah. Oh, okay. Why three? I don't know, he, he, he said got three, what? The, the, the book say have three. Right? Have three? Yeah. Okay, more than three then. There's one, okay? There's only one. The three is at three different positions only. Yeah, that's three different positions. Okay, so, so there's one guy that keep changing, okay? So that actually it doesn't change. There's another thing here. This can rotate around. This is called Jigger Mirror Tube. A GM tube. Doesn't matter about the name, okay? Because I've got not tested this. Okay? I don't know, they tell me only one. Yeah. So what happened in this experiment? It should. No, what did it should? It should alpha particle. Yeah. A lot of alpha particles. And what's alpha particles? Alpha particles are best It's a heavy two plus uh, particles. Yeah, actually it's helium nucleus, but after you shoot, what happened? A lot of things passed through, right? Yeah. And then some was added. Some deflected. And some. then some went back. Some went back. Lots. Little. Tiny. Little. Not little, okay? Yeah. Little. Tiny amount, little, okay? So that's the experiment, right? Yeah. Good. So, how to, how to get it used from here? Some heat the nucleus and went back. Yup. Okay. So alpha. So how? Okay. Some heat the nucleus and went back. So there must be a nucleus. Nucleus. And the nucleus must be. Now this is two Ground. plus charge. The nucleus must be negative. Positive. Positive. Negative. If this is negative, the positive particle shoot in. What happened? You stuck there. You stuck there. Yup. Good. You start there, it will not come out. Uh, so it must be positive. Must be positive, therefore it repair, right? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So, nucleus inside must have positive particle, later they call it proton. Yeah. Okay, they find the proton and it's got not enough mass, so they neutron. introduce neutron. Okay? Whatsoever. Okay, secondly, right, why must the size of the nucleus be so small? Now, how is the nucleus compared to the atom? It's a soccer ball size to a soccer field. Okay. Okay? 
So how come so many proton go got like 50 something over protons? So 80 something, 79 protons. Okay? 79 positive protons squeeze in the soccer ball, whereas the 79 electron will spread among the soccer field. How come they got to squeeze until so small? At times it's already small enough, so it still got to with a soccer field and you got to do soccer ball somewhere. Okay? And got 59 proton squeeze inside. Okay, so why must it be small? Because it was made like that. No, in from this experiment, how you deduce that this must be small? Because a lot of a lot of them went through. Right? That's the reason. Okay, get the right reason. Because a lot of them went through, therefore that means a lot of them didn't hit the nucleus. Ah. So therefore, you must have a lot of empty space. Yeah, and that the empty space is a football field. Yeah, good. Okay. So the first thing is that why this nucleus must have high mass? Because it can't bounce back. The alpha particle should shoot through. Oh, you're you close, okay? But the but the idea is that or else the things that gonna gonna bounce back should not be alpha particle, but instead it is. Nucleus. Yeah. So because this is very heavy, right? When you hit right, then the alpha particle bounce off. Otherwise, the one that bounces off should be the nucleus. Okay, so it must be massive. Hello? Yep, Celia? Yep, uh -huh. ah. Oh, I think my tuition got delayed, so I think around 2.30 like that. Where are you now? Having lunch. Oh, I'm at the Bugis area also. Later, what time you you go off? Oh, finish work already. Oh, okay. Uh, I call you at, at around 2.30 like that. Yeah, but I'll be in Bugis. If you want to have lunch, then you come to Bugis. Okay? Uh, whatever. Okay, bye. Okay. Okay, so it must be massive, right? Mm. So why must there be electrons? Why what must there be electrons? Not really, because the whole piece of gold is neutral, zero charge. Okay. So if you have positive particles, you need to have a negative particle. And if positive particle is inside, then particle will be outside. Okay. That's all the explanation of how some atomic structure is like that. Okay? So remember the reasons, okay? The so reasons will be tested atoms, in yeah. physics, I think. So oh, you can't see atoms, yeah. Yeah, atom that time surgery cannot see, no microscope can see an atom level. Now then the microscope, anything see lesser than a bacterial level, which is in the virus level, right? They are not really seeing it. They use simulations. They, yeah, some yeah, electron, see, they use the electron pulses to scan, and with the electron pulses vibration give you a false picture. But theoretically it should be the image. So what to do? Can't see it, okay? Uh okay. Okay, wait, 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 okay. Here. How many groups do we have? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, okay. Last, time, last one is group 8. Okay. Then later they find out helium or they have 2. So therefore they don't know call it 8 or 2. 2 doesn't make sense. For example, uh, magnesium, calcium, they have group 2 also. You cannot put helium and group 2, but helium is no book yet. So they're confused between the number between 8 and 2. So finally they say, hey, never again, make it 0. Okay, make it 0. Okay. Good, okay. So what happens if you have... Um, so they are arranged with, with one number. Hello? Yeah. Focus. Yeah, I listen. Uh huh. So they are arranged. I need your eyes, number. okay? Yeah? Yeah. Mm. So they arrange arranged according to? According to what? According to their total, total number of total electron electron. Which one? There's only one. Atomic number. No, wrong. Uh, yeah, well, I thought number 5, okay. but number of what? Number of protons? Yeah. Yep. Number of protons? Electron, electron, Nonsense. Proton. Proton really Only right? proton. Okay, fine. Okay? You can read the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right? Atomic number means what? Oh, so, atomic know. number means what? Uh? Atomic. Equal to what? They've got many names for it. Atomic number have another name called number of atomic particles. Wrong. Okay, proton. <laughs> By the way, side. Okay. Proton is in what charge? Mm, negative. Positive. Positive. Okay, 
Well, that's a positive charge, okay? Mass number equal to what? Number that contributed by mass, okay? The numbers of things that will contribute with mass. So, proton, neutron, electron, which one will not contribute mass? Nothing. Which one? Will not contribute much mass. You need to know this. Electron. Yeah, electron will, will not contribute much mass. So this why if you have atomic number is number of protons, and proton, neutron, electron only electron don't contribute mass. Why? So the, sorry. Why? It has electron is actually uh one over two thousand. Okay, of a proton mass. So when you add it up, right, it doesn't make sense here. Okay. It's okay. The whole periodic table also don't have 2,000 electrons, so it wouldn't make up one proton mass. Okay. Whatever it is, mass number is number of what and what? Maybe have it undiscovered. No, it has. It's discovered already, okay? But it's not a serious. Too cheap for you. Mass number equal to what? Number of electrons. Nonsense. Electron will not contribute to mass. Oh, number of protons plus number of electrons. Good. Welcome back. Two things? Got it? Yep. What's the meaning of group? Group 1, all group elements has what? All what? All group 1 elements. Oh. They are all elements in the periodic table. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what's the meaning of group 1? Okay, good. Okay. Your person is better because this is not speaking Earth language. Huh? Okay. I'm speaking some human understandable language. Column 1. You know what's a column? Column. Okay. Yes, I know. Group means column. Okay. Column one. And you see all the number there, right? I spe specially write in a red bit. Okay. The grid one. Okay, so group one means column one, column one means group one. Okay, spare them, okay. So row means what? Row one is is kind of things they, they, they name row as period. Can? Don't laugh, eh? All the girls still have a slap. <laughs> keep laughing or something. Okay? Row means period, that's what I say, okay? Mm. So, period one, group one. So, what is the guy that we use period two, group one? What is the elements? Sodium. Yeah, good, okay? So, that's the period, that's a group, okay? So, why do they group them in, in this way? Because mm. of the proton. Because of the proton. What's so special about the proton? No. Okay, no, okay. Don't, don't, don't waste your time. Okay? It's nothing to do with proton, okay? <laughs> okay? <laughs> group 1 elements. Group 1 elements can have this form electrons. Mm -hmm. Electrons. Electrons, and so on, okay? Mm -hmm. Group 2 elements, group 2, uh, will have. Two. What do you mean by two? Two only. Okay. Two electrons only. Yeah. Oh. But it's not two electrons only, okay? How can I have two electrons only? It's the last outermost cell, outermost shell. I only have two electrons. Only have two electrons, okay? So, oh, so group seven have how many electrons? Seven. seven yeah. Team, right? Group four? Four. Four, okay. That's the number of outermost shells. Because why? Uh, for all elements, right? Okay. How all you, elements, you can, you can number of protons must equal to number of electrons. Must equal. If they're not equal, they have a charge they will call ion. They will be, not be called elements. If they're called elements, not ion, mm. then the proton number must equal to the electron number. And mm. since you know the proton number are all different, mm. okay? So now that means the electron number are all different. Same group guarantee the same outermost cells electron only. Mm. But inside total number electron must be different. Mm. Okay, otherwise they will be the same place. Mm. Okay, tell me. If I invented uh do you know do you know that we have create gold? Create yeah. gold, okay? Yeah. So I give you a proton gun that you can shoot a proton inside elements, right? Then you can create gold. Mm. And there are lots of proton gun around in the not in Singapore. Oh, Singapore, you usually have two. Two proton gun, okay? USA, they have lots of proton gun for one play, play with. So, 
how do you make a gold? Very big long gun for long gun. Yes, very big one for long gun. Okay. The US the the long gun is the whole estate, the old one. The whole estate. Okay. So the whole proton got to accelerate, spin, the whole thing through the whole ultra rare. At the end of ultra come bump up another electron. It's very crazy. Okay. Bump up another electron. Okay. So how to create gold? I give you one proton in the proton gun, okay? How to create gold? I find an electron. You use what to bombard with the proton? Then you find gold. Uh, <coughs> Look at the pure table. What? I, I inject a proton into which element, which atom, you make give me a gold atom. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, how do you say this atom is carbon? If I give you an atom, I say this is carbon. How do you see this atom is a carbon? Can I say? Can I tell you that? Oh, okay. The mass number mm -hmm. equal to twelve. It is a carbon. Yes or no? No. No, it cannot be right. Yeah. This is not good argument. So what is the requirement I give it to you? You know this is carbon. The number of electrons. No. Number electron must be what? Equal to proton. Uh, then they are, okay, all the elements here, the number of electrons equal to number of proton as well. Mm -hmm. What is the things tell you this is carbon? The 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 what? The the uh, atomic number. You're right. The atomic number is what? Number of Good, okay. If that's the case, that means if this atom have six, six proton, mm. it will be six. carbon. Uh. So if I have a six proton, mm. seven neutron, will it still be carbon? No. It will still be carbon. Because the symbol, okay, you do right, is according to the proton number and the proton number only. So we have one more proton, it is the next element. Mm. Got it? And so, so why you say no? Because you see the mass number is not 12, right? Uh. The mass number, how do they define is this 12, right? Later you find it's 33.3. Sorry. For chlorine, right? The mass number is 35.5. They put it in 36. No, they put it in 35.5. Okay. And we say that number of, the mass number is supposed to be number of proton plus number of neutron, right? Mm. How come we go 0.5 number of something? Because this number is an average, it's an average of all the existence. Okay, because chlorine exists as thirty-five chlorine and thirty-seven chlorine. Okay, in the ratio of three to one. Therefore, the average is got thirty-five point five. Okay, so that means right. How do you see this is chlorine? Because they have the same number of proton, but they have different number of neutrons, and they will give a name. They call it isotopes. Okay, isotopes. Isotopes. Hello, hello, I need eyes. Okay. Yeah, Isotopes. Yeah, okay, okay. So, how do you say this is what elements you can only use proton number? Okay, and mass number can change because there's system of isotopes. Got it? So, how to make a go? Get the proton number, that's it. So, uh, if you have a proton gun, you can shoot at one atom to create gold. What must you use? Use yeah, you must use proton to bump up on which atom to create gold atom. Gold is A U okay here. Um T T L. Yeah, okay, you need a platinum to create a gold. Okay, so platinum is more expensive than gold, right? Yeah, so that's so, pe so people will not do it. Okay? <laughs> that is why nobody really pay gold. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so this is why they, they realize that hey, I can create gold, yeah, you can use platinum. That's a piece of nonsense, okay? <laughs> this is this is how how well, good. use this iridium or something to create platinum. That's more expensive. Oh, okay. Hmm? Maybe yeah. use os iridium. <laughs> okay, but then you bump up, bump up, bump up, bump up, bump up. Then it's too expensive already. So bump up five times, I must buy gold. Use those, use those, those energy. Okay, what do you learn here? Atomic number, proton number, mass number, proton number plus neutron number. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, how much neutron do you have in calcium? Calcium. Calcium. How many 
20. 20, okay. How many electrons should I have in calcium? Hector. Elements. Yeah. How many electrons I should have? 20. 20, good, okay. Even. Yes, get okay, 20. Yeah? That, this one, 40. 40 is what? Number of what plus number of what? Plus? Neutron. Yeah, got anything to do with electron? No, right? 20 proton, 20 neutron, give you 40. So, I, I, 11 minus 5 is 6. So, 6 is the neutron number for boron. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, good. Okay. Good. Okay. So, now we talk about the group things. You know what's the meaning of group, right? Group means that they have the same number of outermost cells in electrons. So, what's the meaning of period? Okay, in chemistry, okay. What's the meaning of period? Miss Rolla, okay? So, so, with the same row, what do we have? Same period equal to the same number of electron shells. Okay? So, now just now I say group 3 yeah. has 3 mm. outermost Elect shells electrons, right? Cannot say, cannot say 3 electrons, it's 3 outermost cells electrons. That means that outside the last ring we have 3 electrons. Okay? Okay, period. Period 2. Okay, all elements in period 2 has 2 electron shells. That's what I mean. Period 3 means they have 3 electron shells. Okay. Period 4, they have 4 electron shells. Got it? The, the circle. Yeah, how many circles you can have. Okay. okay. Now, in the model of this electron shells, right? Okay, by the way, all chemistry reactions is the business of the outermost shells electrons. Mm. Inner electrons will not participate in any chemistry. Okay. okay? They are in physics, in no nucleus things. Neutron and proton, certain they won't participate in chemistry. Mm. The chemistry only play business with the outermost shells electrons. Mm. Okay? So before we go go to that, you will understand the electron shells first. Now, electron shells, right, in general, they, the, the maximum number of electrons they can have of electrons, okay, they can have is in the formula of 2n squared. Okay, mm -hmm. that means period 1 can have 2, 1 squared, so it's 2. The maximum you can have 2 electrons. Period 2, yeah, 2, 2 squared. Yep, yeah, 2 squared, so 4, yeah. 8, good. Period 3, 2, 3 squared. 18. 4? 2, 4 square. 32. 2, 5 square. Good, good, good enough. Three, good enough. Now, six, remember, okay, that this is the conflict of your syllabus, okay? This is what you must know. That's called, means what's the maximum electron it can have. Okay? It doesn't mean that this is the number of electrons it got to have. Okay? So, what will happen for, and, and in your electron structure, you only learn the first 20 elements. Why, 20, why only learn first 20 elements? Because it's too much. No. At 21 there, it will hit the transition elements. You see the element number 21? Scandium. Scandium. Okay. Scandium. Okay. Which group is it in? Three.